Now we get off of COVID and go to the women thing. Black women were so emboldened due to the Democrat trifecta that they actually believed they didn't need us no more and they wasn't even part of us. They got on, on, on that show that Fox sold and told through Ice Cube that we are not a part of whatever you're a part of. We're not a part of black people. We liberals, we women. You know what I'm saying? Our, our group is women. He crying in my room this morning, my brother gonna come up in here and say, what's wrong with you? Like he can't think of one possible reason why I would be upset right now, bro. These niggas are so f they live on another planet. And it's because none of this shit affects men. That's why. Men don't talk about nothing that don't directly affect them. If it does not directly affect men, they do not give a we, we We are women. We are not a part of black people. We are women. So let them have that. Don't forget that, brother. Don't forget how the family court structures are set up. That's because of liberals. That's because of Democrats. Why, when you go to court, you get pounded, beaten to, beaten to the dust. Because all of the judges, all these female judges in family court, all liberals, they can't stand men. A lot of them are lesbians, can't stand men. Remember who did that to you. Don't ever forget. See, they thought we was going to forget about all that stuff and just hold hands and sing kumbaya and go down there and vote again for these people while they dumping immigrants in the hood. Now, I know a lot of the stories we hearing about this stuff are lies done by the conservatives. I know, I, I, I know, I did my research on it and I know a lot of those stories are lies. I don't really know where y'all find these, these, these Negroes that do these interviews that's supposed to be from those areas, but they be lying to them. So I understand that. But the truth is they still bringing these people in and still got to give them some help because these people don't even speak, they speak the language. They don't speak English. So they got to help them somehow. They got to give them some financial aid. They got to give them some aid. And all that aid come out of taxpayer money that we pay tax to, but, but we struggling ourselves. But every time we say we need something, it's called the handout. We don't deserve nothing, but the immigrants deserve everything. Nah, man, remember how they do y'all. And black men, specifically, remember black women sold y'all out to be with these people. Black women don't give a damn about y'all. They care about women, the white women first. They care about them lesbians and gay and trans people second. They care about immigrants third. They do not care about us. Listen to them. Listen to them talk. Taking away somebody's civil and human rights away from them that's a deal breaker. Taking rights away from women's bodies, that's a deal breaker for me. Mistreating the LGBTQ community, that's a deal breaker. Discriminating against the trans community, that's a deal breaker. Listen to them. The trifecta every time. Women, gays, and trans, and immigrants. Every time. And because black women see themselves as a part of the women, that's their group. So black people have no part. We have no place anymore in there because the only people that represent black people are really black men now in the, in the eyes of the Democrat party. In the eyes of the Democrat party, black men represent black people. We are black people. Women have, the black women have transcended into a new category and in, in, you know, into the uh, 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 sub or uh, underclass of women, right? A second class women, a third class women. So they're no longer part of us. And I'm glad you brothers remembered all of that. They noticed that we wasn't coming out in large numbers supporting them anymore. So yes, them conspiracies are true. They're bringing them immigrants in, trying to make them legal citizens so that they can use their vote. I hope Trump deport all of them. I hope Trump turn them all around, snatch all of them up and send all of them back to where they came from just so the Democrats will not have that ability to make all these people legal citizens thinking that they're gonna all vote for them. Send all the asses back. Y'all can't forget how these people done us. Y'all can't forget how these people treated us. Do you know who they find to defend some biological man entering sports against biological women? They get some black people to do it. They get these black elite in the media to talk on our behalf and make us the face, the faces of all of this chaos and all of this silliness that we don't even agree with. 
And now we walk down the street, everybody looking at us side eye. We getting in fights. We we getting you know we getting all type of violence and everything because everybody hate us because you niggas sitting on TV, um, advocating on behalf of things that is so against the the nature of black people that is not even funny. In no normal world would a black man or woman think that it was cool for a for a biologically born man to enter sports against a biologically born woman. I don't care what you call yourself. You can have the right to call yourself a woman. That don't make you a woman. And this is not about this is not about their rights. That's not fair. That's that's that, that's unfavorable treatment. And we become the face of all this stuff. And you can't forget that Democrats, black Democrats, become the face. Every time they want to advocate on behalf of immigrants, they get some niggas up there talking about it. Every time they want to advocate on behalf of trans people, they get niggas and put them on TV and let them talk about it. We should be saying, man, I ain't getting into that, man, because a man is a man, a woman is a woman. I'm not getting into all that. That's our position. That's how we really think as black people. But our elite would never say it because they have bought into the Democrat Party. Forget about our culture. Forget about the, the way we really are as a people. They, are, they have been misrepresenting us for decades and we have been saying nothing about it. Now it's time for us to make it clear that these people do not speak for us. None of them. They do not speak for us. We don't get down with that stuff, man. We don't think it's cool that, a, that, a, that, a, that a, 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 a boy could call himself a girl tomorrow morning. He can go into sports against girls. We don't think that's cool. We don't think it's cool that they got homosexual material in the schools for, your, for little kids to read. And I know the liberals already talk about it's not true. It is true. We've seen the, 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 um, the school board meetings where parents were reading these books out loud. And the content was so disturbing that all the adults in there start squirming and screaming, you know, oh, you can't read that in here because it's, it's, it's inappropriate. Well, if it's inappropriate for adults, then it's definitely inappropriate for children. Why do you have this in the elementary school library if it's inappropriate for adults to hear it? Come on, man. This is all done by these people. And our black women supporting this madness. They are supporting this, man. See, and, and, and I never wanted to go there on the black alpha, but see, we are going to have to really, really, really analyze these black women and, and make a decision. I'm going to start talking about all that. You know what? This, this year coming, I'm about to just give y'all me. For a long time, I've been trying to figure out a way to talk to y'all where I think I could reach y'all and just let y'all make conclusions on your own or, or try to bring y'all slowly somewhere and y'all are rejecting it. So I might as well just be raw. You know, I might as well just say it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just get it out there because, you know, it needs to be said. It needs to be said. We don't think that stuff is cool. We don't, we don't think that it's okay that, you know, you can have a, a, a boy that's 10 years old and he can only be talking about he's gay. But yet a 17-year-old female is not supposed to be having sex. Y'all heard that clip of that coon nigga Bill Cosby after he didn't roofied all these damn women at parties and everything. He talking about these girls not supposed to be having sex. Sex is natural. But, it had, but, but letting a 10-year-old boy or a 9-year-old girl talking about they gay already, that's fine. But a 17-year-old girl can't have sex with a 19-year-old boy. That's we can't forget who the who these people are loyal to. We can't ever forget it. And we gotta make sure that we remember election cycle after election cycle that they don't mess with black men. They made it clear. Their trifecta is clear. Just listen to them talk. Listen to them talk when they talk about who they're concerned with is gonna be women, gays and lesbians, and trans, right? And immigrants. Just listen to them talk. They ain't never going to mention black men. And everybody else fall into the immigrant category. Whether you born here or not. They don't bear if you age and you born here. You're going to fall into the immigrant category. You know what I'm saying? The only people that don't fall into the immigrant category is us. And white folks. So who they talking about, they let you know who they care about on the Democrat side. Y'all got to remember that. They started it. 
You just remember, you act accordingly. But to you conservative coons, I'm coming after y'all real soon. I'm not letting y'all off the hook either. Till next time, I'm out of here. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. Blackout Salon. Thank you.